Hi everybody and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to discuss with you the experimental evidence for a delocalized model for benzene rather than Kekulé suggestion for the structure in terms of bond lengths, enthalpy change of hydrogenation and resistance to reaction. So here we are, this is Kekulé. There he is. And this is Kekulé's beard, which was styled into two points, which was a choice. And Kekulé's suggested model for the structure for benzene is shown over here. And it entails three localized pi bonds in a ring of six carbon atoms. So we've got our three localized pi bonds here. And then we would also have three sigma bonds as well as the alternative connections between the carbons. This representation for the structure is actually still widely used in diagrams, but thanks to some work by other scientists, we are now able to know more about what we can describe as the delocalized electron model for benzene. So instead of three localized pi bonds, we now describe benzene as having delocalized pi bonds, and we can also describe it as a delocalized pi system in exams. Now, following this suggestion here, by Kekulé, some scientists set to work trying to expand on his model. They developed the model, which has delocalized pi bonds, based primarily on three pieces of experimental evidence, which debunked Kekulé's model, and I'm going to describe each of them down here with you to help support this part of your A-level. The first piece of evidence down here, which debunked Kekulé's suggestion for the structure of benzene is quite simple. Carbon to carbon single bonds are longer than carbon to carbon double bonds. So Kekulé's suggestion would have a pattern of different distances between the carbon atoms all the way around. In actual benzene, it was found that there is an equivalent bond length between the carbons all the way around the structure. The bond length between the carbon atoms in benzene is actually found to be an intermediate bond length between the carbon to carbon single bond and the carbon to carbon double bond. The nanometer values here definitely don't need to be remembered for your exam, but they might help give you a sense of perspective on what's going on. Our second piece of evidence takes us right the way back to the alkenes topic. Now in the alkenes topic, we saw that if a molecule contains carbon to carbon double bonds, like Kekulé suggested benzene did, then it will decolorize bromine water. So if Kekulé was correct, benzene should decolorize a few drops of bromine water when they're added to a test tube of benzene. Well, it doesn't. And this is because actual benzene is resistant to addition reactions, and it undergoes substitution reactions instead in order to preserve its stable delocalized pi bonds. Our final piece of evidence is a little tricky, and it's all about enthalpies of hydrogenation. This reaction is usually for when an alkene group reacts with hydrogen in the presence of a nickel catalyst to form an alkane group. So we see an unsaturated group become a saturated. For the hydrogenation of cyclohexene, this value not shown on the screen would actually be negative 120 kilojoules per mole. So an exothermic reaction. Now, based on Kekulé's suggestion, which is effectively cyclohexa 135 triene, the two extra carbon to carbon double bonds mean that the enthalpy change for benzene should, in theory, be predicted as negative 360 kilojoules per mole. But it isn't. Instead, it's actually a less exothermic negative 208 kilojoules per mole, which is a 152 kilojoule per mole discrepancy. Our bottom line here is that since this enthalpy of hydrogenation for real benzene is less exothermic than Kekulé's suggestion, the structure for benzene is more stable than Kekulé's model suggested. To delve a little deeper into this, if you think back to the enthalpy topic, in order to have an exothermic reaction, the energy released when the bonds and the products are formed needs to be greater than the energy required to break the bonds in the reactants. Since both of these reactions here 
produce cyclohexane, the bonds being made in the products don't change from one reaction to the other. So the real reason for benzene producing and less exothermic enthalpy change must lie in the fact that the delocalized pi bonds in benzene are stronger, so our bonds being broken value is larger than those in Kekulé's suggested model. Thank you very much for watching, but I'm afraid that is it for this tutorial. If you did find it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a like before you go. There are lots of other links on screen now as well to other tutorial videos related to benzene and organic chemistry from my channel. Until next time, happy revising.